Oh, we're going to check out this Ping iOS. This is based on 14.04 Ubuntu, and it's a GNOME 3 desktop. And they did some updates to it, the UEI file, and a bunch of other little stuff that I'm going to put in the description below. But let's just have a look at it. I never uh, downloaded and checked this one out. I got it run on VirtualBox, virtual box, and it um, booted right up. Didn't have to install it or nothing. Fired right up. You see, there's the installer. And I guess it's the ubiquity. Look at that pretty cool little icon there. Let's see how long it takes to fire that up. But if I, I mean, it, it booted right up. I just ran it and uh, gave me the right screen size, booted right up, and everything. Okay, installer's taking a little while to fire up. There it goes. But uh, it's just the uh, ub <coughs> ubiquity installer. So it should be pretty easy to install. Let's just quit that. Seems kind of sluggish on VirtualBox, so probably run better on live. But let's check it out. And you see this how it boots up. We've got a little, little conky over here showing CPU, memory usage, little, even a little weather map. I don't know if that's uh, the right, even the kernel. And there it is, ping guy. Pin Guy OS. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Pin Guy. And then it's got the little log out shut down there. There's your little clock and counter language settings. And that looks like the Mint Updater. So let's see what this is. Searching for packages, and then it has this little docky down here. It's pretty neat, and that's the docky. First, I thought it was the plank, but when it started moving like that, I don't think plank moves like that. This is called docky, and you go here about it's docky two. Dot two dot one dot one, so that's a pretty cool little dock. And there's the updater about just the mint updater, so that's pretty cool. And then over here has menu, nice little menu, and then the screen lock and all that stuff over here. Preferences, preferences. This uh, it, it's a heavy download. It was almost three gigabyte, two point nine. 2.8 gigabyte download so it might have some software on it let's just go through the graphics here ebook viewer image viewer LibreOffice draw LRF viewer there's Penta rapid photo downloader shot well simple scan and under internet you notice that the mouse cursor is backwards or pointing the other direction noticed that and, and I was thinking it was uh, I, I don't know it's just weird confusing me anyway under internet deluge Dropbox empathy Firefox there's that Oracle Java and Rima Rim Rimma Rimina what is that connect to remote desktop Skype steam team viewer Thunderbird X chat and under Office, it looks like it's a full LibreOffice with a little Cal Calibri uh, man library management ebooks and all that stuff. And then under uh, Other, it's got a Conky. I guess that's that Conky there. Personal file sharing, Plex Home Theater, Plex Media Changer, a uh, Media Manager. I'm sorry. And then under Science, LibreOffice Math, Sound and Video. And some kind of little transcoder, Brazero, Clementine, DVD. I guess it's some kind of DVD thing. File, Bot, GTK, Pod, Handbrake, OpenShot, Spoofy, Videos, and VLC Player, Sundry, Deconfig Editor, Main Menu, System Settings. There's going to be all the system settings. And then that's more system tools. Bleach it, boot repair, disk, get uh, the G dep package installer, uh, G part it, logins, and uh, 
system tweaks and all that, the Ubuntu software center, UNet booting, terminals and all that, and then universal access, got the onboard utilities, archive, calculator, character map, disk, document viewers, there's a system monitor, let's see what it's using, it's already using one gigabyte on VirtualBox, and there's all the processes, and uh, utilities, terminal, the tweak tool, and then it's even got wine installed, configure and uninstall wine. Okay, pretty cool. And then there's favorite, web, recent. Pretty cool little menu there. And let's have a look at the uh, preferences. I guess this is just panel settings. Let's see, panel OS. Okay, this is pretty cool panel O oh, that's on screen display multimedia player indications GNOME or GU, GNU menu app indicator support cover flow so that's pretty cool window list and all those settings there and let's see system tools system settings let's see where do I get to the control is this the control panel this is the tweak tool and this little dock has got the terminal the tweak tool package synaptics package Clementine XChat Firefox and all that so let's see where system tools the system settings let's go to the system settings seems kind of sluggish and I don't know if that's because it's uh, running on VirtualBox but uh, there's background pretty clean looking icon set there not bad at all there's backgrounds let's have a look at the background since we're here it's got some Debian ones so it's only got three it's got that green one there okay well let me grab that it's got that Debian one and then this one here and let's go back to all settings brightness and lock online setting there's the Ubuntu tweak see how it, it just kind of uh, this guy has a problem uh, loading things up and it could be um, either VirtualBox or you know it probably run a little quicker on a live system okay is that gonna load says loading I don't know if it's going to load might have to kill that out see it's, it's running it's running hot it, it's just uh, okay there it goes it, it just something about it it's probably Virgil box but this got the overview and live data there's uh, desktop information system clean and all that and then the apps and uh, tweaks and there's all little apps tweaks and the themes let's see what kind of themes in it I don't know if this thing's gonna work on the themes yeah it's working so let's have a look at the themes. Let me open up the file. It didn't have the file browser down here. File, where would that be? I don't see a little... Uh, I don't see the... Um, a link for the file browser. In 
internet, where would the file browser be? System. System settings. Personal. Accessories, where would the file, there it is. Okay, let's open up the file browser. And there's that theme, nice gray theme. And of course, it's that Iwata. And Fayance Clary, Fayance Clary or something. And okay, that turned it kind of orange. That didn't really change. It just seems kind of... Uh, okay, that one's changing to some kind of purple, pink there. And let's see what that one does. And then it's got these icon themes. So you just can't uh, seem like it doesn't, you know, switch real quick. And again, that could be VirtualBox. But I got this running on the same level, you know, as many processes and everything as it, as I do all the distros I run on VirtualBox. So it's got a good selection of icons. And uh, let's just keep it on the default. What was the default? No, I didn't like those. Cursor themes. White, red glass. Let's see if it changes the cursor. No. And then window themes. Okay, that's I don't like that one. Meta box. I think that's the one it was on. Okay, pretty nice. Uh I guess you could figure it and then other little settings there in the janitor and clean all that. And uh there's your little file browser. Really don't care for that theme, but it's just uh kind of sluggish messing with it. And you've seen it doesn't have very too many backgrounds. Pretty good little uh, menu here. Let's see if it's resizable. And let's see the file. Does it have um, tealing? Yeah, it's got tealing on it. Got some pretty quick little tealing there. And let's see, can I go smaller? No. So there's a little file manager. I don't know why the icon is backwards pretty neat little dock here and I think you can just grab things like if you want it G parted in there no I guess you can't grab out of the menu Let's see how do you add docklets I guess you could drag them from here or uh Let's see, Gmail, Weather, Workspace, Switcher. Add. Okay, is that the Workspace Switcher? Okay, I guess my, uh, gotta go to the Tweak tool to do the Workspace Switcher. And there's the Ubuntu Tweak System Monitor. And let's see, I don't know if you can go to uh, Files, User, Share, Applications, App Data, and just drag things from here let's find out okay there's Brazil let's see I want Brazil in there yeah you can do that and uh, 
you can just drag them in there like that. Pretty cool little dock. I like how it puffs up. And you right click on it, you got the settings. Dock settings, transparency. Theme, got smoke. That's the smoke. Matte. Hood. Grayscale. Glass. Air. And classic. That's classic. Transparent. Pretty look pretty good. And it's a pretty cool little dock. And there's your little uh, DVD burner thing. Pretty cool little uh, system here. And uh, they said it's a UEFI. Got better support for UEFI and. Uh, bunch of little updates here and there and I'll put all that in the description and a good selection of software it is a heavy download uh, you know for the software that it has on it um, it, it seems like it's a pretty heavy download almost three gigabyte and if you look at the software it really doesn't have I mean it's got a lot of software on it but I don't see where it shouldn't get no more than two gigabyte because it's got as much software on it as uh, you know some of these other distros that are you know about two gigabyte or less. Thunderbird, Mail, Play on Linux, and this home theater thing. Let's check that out. Plex. Welcome Plex for experience with performance some audio settings. Okay, it won't capture my mouse. So, uh, I'm at a loss here. So, I might have to uh, get out of this somehow. But uh, some kind of Plex home theater setup. It's not letting me catch it on. There it goes. Next, let's check this out from your computer. Go to an okay. Okay, so I guess I got to sign up and all that. Uh, let's just cancel that. So that's some kind of let's see, search channels. Uh, channel search. Okay, why is it going back? It just a bunch of different uh, preferences. Sleep shut down. Channel category. Featured. Okay, let's just go to featured. Uh, Apple Movies, BBC iPlayer, PBS, Revision 3, SoundCloud, Trailers. I don't know which good one is. Let's just see what this one. Oh, you gotta install it. So, how do I go back? Okay, and then how do I cl get out? Okay, so let me quit. So that's some kind of little uh, TV thing there. Pretty cool. And uh, got a lot more. That's probably what's taking all that uh, space is that thing. That's why the download is so big. And what is that? Some kind of library thing. So it's a pretty cool little distro here. And, uh, you know, it's not bad. It's a GNOME 3. If you like the GNOME 3, it's got the, up, the Mint updater. So that's plus. And a uh, good selection of software. And uh, nice themes and tweaks and all that. And it's got this other little tweak thing. Panel settings. The layout and uh, stuff like that. 
So that's pretty the gnome shell extension preferences. So that's a lot of settings you can go through there. So it's a pretty cool little distro. Just wanted to download it and check it out. And uh, I like it. It's not bad. Worth checking out. But it's a heavy download. Almost 3 gigabyte. And uh, it is based on Ubuntu 14.04. So that's a plus. And uh, there's a big menu now. How did the menu get so big? I don't know what I did to get the menu that big. But uh, that ain't bad. I can see it better. How did I resize that? Something I did in here. It might have been something I flipped in there or something. I don't know. But, uh, okay, I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. But this is the Ping, Pin Guy OS. And uh, it's not bad. It's worth checking out. There you right click on desktop. It's just kind of sluggish, and I, I'm thinking that's just VirtualBox. There's all your settings, power, and everything. There's the sound. It's pretty neat. Mouse settings. Let's see. The uh, let's let's go. Where's the? Uh, I'm gonna see if this mouse. There's no uh, right primary speed mouse and touchpad. Oh, what am I doing? It needs to be pointing the other way. It's just kind of awkward when you're looking at it and trying to get around with it. But that's probably somewhere in the tweak. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up here. But this is the Ping Guy OS. I just want to download and check it out. Pretty cool. Not bad. A little docky there. A lot of software. And uh, it's a GNOME based on Ubuntu 14.04. All right.